All right, so this African elephant, just a picture of it, looks like it's eh, roughly about the same length as this blue whale. But is it? Looks can be deceiving. So I've got the measurements, uh, and these th this, is, this is a true story. Um, African elephants um, can get to be about 24 feet long, roughly, even, even a little bit bigger sometimes. Um, and blue whales really can get up to um, 30 meters, 30 meters long. Right, so what what we want to do is set up a ratio, and say, um, you know, ha how big is the elephant compared to the blue whale, or how big is the blue whale compared to the elephant? So the ratios are simply comparisons between numbers. You know, three to two. That's a very simple ratio. It's the ratio of th the number three to two. And w what we'd like to do is something like the length of the whale relative to the length of the uh, elephant um, or, or vice versa. Alright, but to do that we've got to do some conversion first. So uh, so you see I've got the length of a blue whale um, in meters but the length of an African elephant in, in feet. So uh, we could say, uh, you know, how what's the, what's the ratio of the length of the whale to the elephant? I mean, we, could, we could write it as 30 meters uh, over 24 feet, but that ratio really doesn't mean anything because meters and feet are different. Um, you know, think about it. Think about it if this were miles. Um, 30 miles to 24 feet is the ratio of 30 to 24 really representative of that? Not really. Okay, that was kind of a tangent, I guess. Bad example. Bad example. Anyway, point being, these units are not the same, so this this ratio is misleading. It doesn't really mean anything. So we want to get th these measurements in the same unit, so then we can make a, a ratio that, that means something. We can make a comparison that means something. So in order to do that, we need the conversion factor. Um, here, here's the conversion between meters and feet. One meter is equal to 3.28 feet, roughly, or, or rounded. Um, and this will allow us con to convert between meters and feet both ways. Feeders, <laughs> feeders. Feet to meters, or meters to feet, um, or both of them to feeders, which is a new unit that I just invented. I'm going to try to popularize uh, in future lessons. Um, so you need a conversion factor, and if you don't know it, like like me, I don't I don't know this off the top of my head. Um, l look it up. Oftentimes, your math textbook will have a, a table of conversion factors. Um, if all else fails, just search online. It's these things are easy to find. Um, so don't feel bad if you don't just know these. I I don't know them. A lot of people don't have them memorized. It's not a big deal. You just look it up. Okay. So here's what we can do. Um, you might see. All right. So let's first of all let's decide. Are we going to deal in meters? or Are we going to deal in feet? Let's one. Way, let's go one way or the other. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm going to say let's deal with let's deal in meters because I like the metric system it's a lot more logical um, so let's convert the feet to meters um, and let's see was I gonna say something else no okay oh yeah I was gonna say you could um, you might look at this and say 24 feet well if one meter is 3.28 feet you just divide by 3.28 and you get meters you might see that intuitively and that's totally fine if you don't see that Here's how to do it um, without thinking. Okay, so just set up a ratio. Um, one meter is equivalent to 3.28 feet. Okay, that's what the conversion factor is telling us. So the, the ratio of meters to feet is is one to 3.28. All right. Well, we've got uh, we've got this measurement in, in feet. We've got 24 feet. We just don't know how many meters this is. So the ratio of meters to feet is one uh, meter per 3.28 feet. Well, if I've got 24 feet, I could figure out how many meters that would be just by setting up a proportion. Okay. So to solve a proportion, simply um, cross multiply. So x times 
I'm just going to write that as 3.28x, and then equals 1 times 24, which is just 24. Okay, and then solve for x. This is, uh, I divide that by 3.28 because I want to get x by itself. It's being multiplied by 3.28, so I want to divide uh, that by 3.28. If I do anything to one side of the equation, I have to do it to the other, so I'm going to divide this side by 3.28. So 24 divided by 3.28. Just gonna grab the old, the old trusty. Seven point three one seven. Let's call that. Let's round that seven point three two. Seven point three two meters. So 24 feet is equivalent to about seven point three, two meters. Now we can write uh, a ratio between that compares the sizes of these of these giant mammals. Um, we can write a ratio that means something. So let's do the ratio of the the length of uh, a blue whale to the length of an of an African elephant. So we've got thirty meters as compared to seven point three two meters. So the ratio of of the, the length of a blue whale is, is thirty meters. Uh, of the ra the ratio of the length of a blue whale to an African elephant is, is thirty to seven point three two. Um, and actually we can turn this into a decimal. Um, units cancel out for the same unit. So thirty divided by and this is just a fraction, thirty divided by seven point three two. That's what fractions mean. It's the top divided by the bottom. So we could do 30 divided by 7.32, and we get 4.09. Um, 4. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just call it. Let's, let's just call it. Let's just round. Let's say that's roughly four. Roughly four. So what does that mean? That means an adult blue whale or blue. <laughs> yeah, blue whale. I was thinking blue elephant in my mind. I'm like. That's crazy. Uh, an adult blue whale is four times as long as an adult African elephant. So gigantic, huge, right? So when you get uh, these things in the same units and you set up ratios, you can really uh, then it starts to tell you things. When you look at these pictures, they look roughly the same size. Uh, if you deal with the actual measurements, um, we can we can figure out just exactly what's going on. This thing is four times as long as this thing. I mean, that's this thing. Is, I mean, if you if if you've seen an elephant in the zoo or whatever, or or maybe out in the wild, uh, if you um, live in Africa or in Asia, you've. Um, I mean, these things are huge, right? These things, incredibly huge. All right, so let's let's go real quickly, um, checking out a um, great white shark versus a grizzly bear. Uh, also known as a brown bear. So, first, first thing to notice: these measurements are in different units. Actually, let me let's switch up the colors to show that we're doing a different thing here. Yeah. Um, we're doing pounds versus kilograms. So let's let's decide what we're going to do here. Uh, again, I really enjoy the metric system. So let's convert pounds to kilograms. Um, I've got my conversion factor here. I looked that up. I didn't just know that. Um, so let's convert. So what we've got, the ratio of kilograms to pounds is 1 to 2.2. Uh, that's what the conversion factor is telling us. And that ratio is going to hold true forever, everywhere. Um, so what we've got here, label this. What we've got here is pounds, so let's line that up with pounds, 1,700 pounds. Again, true story. Look this up. Um, this is uh, pretty pretty average adult male brown bear uh, can get to be about 1,700 pounds uh, or heavier. Big big guy, right? Um, and we don't know how many kilograms, so let's let's just call it X. So we'll we'll find out how many kilograms that corresponds to. So let's. Let's cross multiply. Um, so we've got x 
uh, 2.2 x is equal to 1 times 1700. And honestly, if, if you just look at this and say, oh, I just divide 1700 by 2.2 and I'll have the kilograms, that's fine. You know, you don't have to set up the whole proportion and do this. But for those of us who don't just see that, just set up the proportion. This is logical. And the ratio of, of kilograms to pounds is 1 to 2.2. And then you've got pounds, so you just figure out how many kilograms that corresponds to. So set up your proportion. And then you don't even have to think about it. You just follow the steps. Set up the proportion, cross multiply, solve for x. Um, so to solve for x here, we, we need to divide by 2.2. So, grab the old trusty calculator, 1700, divided by 2 point dose is uh, 772.7272, repeating. So, uh, let's, just, let's just say that's roughly 772. Um, so, that would be a roughly 772 um, kilograms. So let's do the ratio of, of the weight of uh, the great white to the brown bear. Um, so we've got uh, 2,260 kilograms for the great white. Uh, so we do the ratio of the, the, the mass, I guess, to be more precise. Um, the mass of the great white versus the mass of um, the brown bear, also known as the grizzly bear. So that's the mass of the great white. We've got so now we're dealing with the same units. We're we're dealing in kilograms, so we're we're good to go. This is a this is a ratio that means something. Um uh, so you could leave it at that. Two thousand two hundred sixty kilograms to seven hundred seventy two kilograms. Already you can tell, you know, the great white shark is a lot more massive than the brown bear. Uh if you want to really distill this, just divide top by the bottom. Um, two two six zero oh, divided by seven seven two. Uh, it's two. Yeah, it's you know two point nine something. So, um, so so a great white shark is roughly three times as massive as a grizzly bear. I mean, gigantic, right? So there's ratios. Um, there's some awesome animals. Take care.